Whoa, hey. <laughs> what you're looking at here with its very soft suspension is one of the OG muscle cars. I'm talking about the Declasse Vigoro, or, Vig or Vigero, however you choose to pronounce it. It's not the fastest, it wasn't even the fastest during its time, it's certainly not gonna set any records, but I love it. I love this thing, I've always loved it. It's been well, always been one of my favorite muscle cars. It's got that right balance of, you know, relative performance within vehicles of its class and price range. And the styling and the sound and the whole nine yards. I love how it handles. It's proper old school, but not bouncy like the cars that we've been looking at in the last few years. It's just an all-around great car. But it's a great car that didn't really sell all that well. So, as the muscle car movement began to die out, the Vigero died out with it being replaced by the sister company, Imponte, and the Ruiner. Now, again, the Ruiner is it's a fine car. It doesn't look nearly as good as the Vigero. None of the um, Ruiners do. However, the last generation from 2000 is good. It made things right. It's a very dated vehicle, I will say that much. The interior is a bit dated, the styling is definitely from the 2000s, but it kind of works in that sort of way. Maybe it's just a nostalgia kicking in, but yeah, I kind of like this thing. Again, it's it's sort of like the Vigoro of old, and then it's not going to break any records, it's not going to reunite the world or anything, but what it will do is put a smile on your face. And while well, sure, this is exponentially more expensive than the original, the Class A, not bad. But the class they had enough. Silly on the sidelines. And after 50 years, they re entered the fray. They decided to relaunch the Vigoro as the ZX. But this is not an ordinary. Vigoro. Because this is a Vigoro from the 21st century. And that means it's pretty damn good. You see, they have not gone the approach of the Hellfire, the Gauntlets, or the similar vehicles from Bravado. This is much more handling focused, but at the same time, it's definitely not as planted as the Dominator GTX. So it's not going to win any races. You might not win a drag race either, unless it's a really long one. Apparently with HSW mods, these things absolutely fly. But on its own, it's not going to be shattering any records, similar to the original. But what I love, and what the Class A did with this thing, is they made it an in-between car. I love how the Hellfire drives. It's very fun to play about with. This is also very fun to play about. You really can slide about if you so choose. Well, because you know, rear-wheel drive, 700 horsepower, it's a bit of a beast. And that chassis dynamics and design suspension work to make it just a really nice chuckable vehicle. And yet at the same time, it behaves much more like a Dominator GTX than the Hellfire. When you actually take it on a corner sensibly, it can actually be a good handling vehicle. Again, it's not going to rival the true top tier lap times, but I feel like that's not the point. I feel like the point of this vehicle is to be fun. Which means it's the whole package. It's got the noise. It's got the speed. It's got the handling. It's got the fun element of the handling. It's not just a serious race car. And I think it looks damn good while doing it. It's got lots of customization. It really is an all-around great car. It's a very expensive great car, but you get a lot of bang for your buck. To be perfectly honest, I've been ragging on the new vehicles for the last few weeks, but I genuinely think that this is one of my favorite cars I've driven in a very long time. If I want to drive it sensibly, I can. If I want to go to a 
customization shop and hang out with my friends, I can. If I want to drift this thing around like a maniac, I can. If I put HSW mods on this thing as fast as a fighter jet in a straight line, it's a brilliant machine. Is it worth the nearly two million dollars that it costs? Objectively? Not really. But then again, muscle cars never really are purely logical decisions. It's all a matter of personal preference. And I really prefer the new to Class A.